What's up friends, I'm Riff. If you would like this video, I would really appreciate it and it would mean the world to me. But today we got a lot of stuff going down in gaming news, so today let's get started right away with Squad News. A big topic if you're a Switch owner is the amount of indie games versus AAA games and Nintendo has just spoken out about how they view indie games versus AAA games. Two Nintendo employees that work with indies, Yusuke Soijima and Park Masashi recently sat down with Entertainment Station to talk about some indies. Here's what they said. On Nintendo platforms, we don't really differentiate between AAA titles from established firms and indie games. In actuality, they're lined up as equals in the Nintendo eShop. We don't specially promote indie indie games just because they are indie games, and conversely we don't prioritize them below AAA titles either. I think this is really good that games aren't getting any sort of special privilege on the eShop just because of who made the game or not. We are in a day and age to where indie games can be great. We are past the point of the days where we could say, oh this game is good for an indie game. There's games like Shovel Knight and there's games like Celeste which are simply amazing games worthy of the $60 AAA title price. So with that said, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you have daughters like me or are a toy collector, you might be interested in the next Barbie doll that's coming out. At the New York Toy Fair, we got a look at the new Barbie doll, which is modeled after Tomb Raider, and that's going to be the Alicia Vikander's portrayal of Laura Croft in the upcoming Tomb Raider film. I actually think I'm going to be picking this up. I have two daughters who love Barbie dolls, and they also love video games and Lara Croft. We have some figures at home, so for $29.99, I'm going to be picking it up. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys also like the version? that they went with of Lara Croft not going with the 2000 Angelina Jolie version style. Let me know down below. Nintendo has just updated their Nintendo Creators Partner Program for the better or for worse. You guys decide. We all know that the YouTube Partner Program requirements were changed. New channels require 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers in order to be eligible for monetization. And Nintendo has just came out and said that their Nintendo Creators Program is going to be requiring the exact same thing in order to continue services with them. Nintendo also said if you are already partnered with them and you don't meet these requirements, they are actually going to take away your eligibility and take away the partner program that you have with them. Do I think this is unfair? Do I like it? No, I don't like it. I don't like when anything is taken away from people or anything gets harder for people to be able to create stuff they love. But with that said, I don't want to slam my opinion too much into you guys because I've never been a part of the Nintendo Creator Program. So what I want to do for my help, for my sake, is give me some information from you guys who have been a part of this. Let me know down in the comments below so I can become a little wiser with what I think about this. So let me know down in the comments below how this makes you feel, especially if you've been involved with this Nintendo Partner Program before. Lastly, if you love cycling and you happen to love Mega Man or you're just a bike collector or a Mega Man collector, you're going to want to check this out. A Japanese cycling brand, Kuda Bloom, has teamed up with Capcom to offer a road bike that looks fantastic. What a fun way to celebrate Mega Man's 30th anniversary. This bike looks pretty, it looks sleek, it looks exciting, it looks vibrant, it has a Mega Man paint job, and the bike just went on sale a few days ago in Japan and is priced at $290,000 yen, which is 2,720 American dollars. There also is a ton of different cycling jerseys that you can look through and purchase, all from different characters throughout the Mega Man series and franchise. Let me know if you guys would ever pick up something like this. I would love to have something like this, but for that price, I think I'm going to have to skip. But if you're a hardcore Mega Man fan, this might be for you. All right, guys, that's it for today. Make sure to let me know down in the comments below what story interested you guys the most. For me, it might be the Nintendo YouTube Partnership Program fiasco. Let me know all of that down below. Thank you guys for watching Superhero Game Squad, and I really do hope you have a fantastic... Have a, what did I just say? I hope you have a fantastic day.